we want to welcome you to our event this morning in support of the upcoming Cobalt Tools 500. We've got a few special guests joining us for uh, this morning's celebration. I'd like to recognize first United States Senator from Arizona, Senator John Kyle. Our track president, my boss, out at Phoenix International Raceway, Brian Sperber. The Purdue Boilermaker, Ryan Newman, driver of the number 39 U.S. Army Toyota Colonel Matthew Brown, director of the Arizona Army National Guard. And Victor Daniels from the office of the Arizona Governor, Jan Brewer. Before, I, uh, before we get this program started, uh, I want to say a special thank you to some of our sponsors for today's event. Uh, everyone is enjoying some nice Dasani water and Coca-Cola products. Thank you very much, Coke. And also, thank you to our friends at Famous Dave's for some good American barbecue today. And with that, I'd like to invite to the stage track president, Brian Sperber. Thank you, Scott. Um, and yeah, on behalf of everybody at Phoenix International Raceway, I want to say welcome to everyone for joining us uh, today. And uh, I want to say a, a special thank you also to Senator Kyle for coming out to uh, join us. And uh, for our uh, guest of honor, Ryan Newman, uh, who's uh, lent us uh, his name for our Troop Newman program where NASCAR fans have been able to contribute uh, to help us be able to bring as many uh, servicemen and women from Arizona to the race at no cost. And, uh, and I also want to thank Colonel Brown uh, for being here today as well as his support for everything that we're doing uh, at, at a PIR. But uh, most importantly, I want to thank all the men and women of the armed services and particularly you folks here from the National Guard that are joining us today. I mean, we have such admiration and gratitude for everything that you folks do to help keep this country safe and allow uh, us race car guys to do uh, what we love to do. So thank you very, very much. Uh, with that, uh, enjoy the day, and uh, thanks for being a part of it, and we'll see you guys all out at the Cobalt Tools uh, 500, where uh, Ryan Newman will be going for two in a row, having won our April race. So uh, yeah. with that, we'll see you in a few weeks. Thanks, Brian. Next, we'd like to ask to join us up front here, United States Senator John Kyle. Well, thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here, uh, Colonel, and uh, all of you folks uh, representing the National Guard. Thanks for your service, and thanks for your support of NASCAR. It's always great to see so many uh, seats out there filled with uh, folks who are able to come out uh, as a result of PIR support for our military and providing the tickets for you all. I told Ryan Newman something just a, a moment ago that I'll just share with you and then sit down. I, uh, I'm a NASCAR fan and uh, have been forever, and so I watch all of the Speed Channel shows and ESPN and ESPN2 and so on and the interviews both before and after the races. And on two or three occasions recently, I've seen Ryan Newman interviewed, and he never fails to mention the pride that he has in representing our military, and specifically the Army Guard, in that car, that 39 car that he drives. And I told him I think that's very, very important because there are NASCAR fans all over America that see these programs, and when they see how important it is for just average guys like Ryan Newman or me or anybody else, that strongly support our military and are proud to do so, it's, um, I, I think that's a very, very strong message. And I think it's a great message for NASCAR to, to send, but of course we all know that NASCAR fans are great supporters of America. So um, I really appreciate the support that all of you give to NASCAR, but more importantly, we, support, or we appreciate the support that you give to all of us to keep our country free. Thanks very much for allowing me to participate here today. Thank you, Senator. The next gentleman we'd like to have come up here and say a few words. He's known as uh, Rocket Man. He has 46 poles. He's a uh, graduate from Purdue University. His biggest career win came when we all saw him capture the 2008 Daytona 500. He has uh, 14 wins in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. And in fact, as Brian mentioned, he won our spring race in dramatic fashion, capitalizing on a late caution that extended the race three laps past its scheduled distance to snatch victory from the likes of Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and Kyle oh. Busch. Congratulations, Ryan Newman. We're happy to have you back. Please come on up. Woo! Woo! 
Thank you, and uh, thank you, Senator. You uh, stole my stole my speech. But, uh, no, really, I I, um, I do always say that it is an honor to represent the uh, the arm the army and all branches of the military in saying that. But uh, it's an honor for me to uh, to do what I love to do. I don't even call it a job, but to to go out there and, and, and drive a race car and make a living uh, for myself and my family and everybody else. And um, I do that because we have this free country that we can enjoy and uh, you know go to places like PIR that put on a great show and respect uh, Veterans Day and, and what all the soldiers have done, past, present, and, and, and the future, of course. So it's a, it's a great racetrack. I really enjoy racing out here at PIR. Back in the mid-90s, I used to come out here in the open wheel cars and race. And, uh, getting to come out here to one of our favorite flat tracks in, in Phoenix is a lot of fun. So really appreciate what all the soldiers do uh, in every branch of the military. And really, uh, we actually have a special paint scheme for our car, our U.S. Army car. It's a Veterans Day paint scheme with a bunch of pictures of all different families uh, that are involved in, in, in the armed forces in the Army. So um, just really look forward to the, to the weekend when we come back out here in November. And I appreciate what everybody at PIR is doing with uh, Troop Newman and making a difference for soldiers to get to the racetrack to enjoy what we love and enjoy the freedom that they've given us. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. Next, I'd like to ask Colonel Matthew Brown of the National Guard to join us up front. And uh, we also have a special presentation that we'd like to make to you here after you say a couple words. First of all, also, I'd like to thank everybody, Senator Kaufman, for coming out for your support. It means a lot to us. Ryan uh, uh, Newman, with what you represent, it, it uh, stands for all of us here. And, and we've got a lot of great soldiers, and uh, I'm proud of each and every one of them, and especially for the families who sacrifice. Uh, and these people live in your neighborhoods here in, in Arizona. Uh, they work civilian jobs, and they take uh, that extra time and that extra sacrifice to go deploy and do great things. And to uh, PIR, Mr. Sperber, for, for what you support here. It means a lot to the troops. Everybody has been a part of this uh, festivities today. Um, to the governor's office, I appreciate you coming out here too, Victor. And uh, means, it means a lot to show the representation of what, what we stand for here. We're behind the troops. Uh, they've done a great thing. We, we're, our temple is, continues to, uh, to go. We've got another six units going out this year. And, and we've got... Uh, a big uh, unit just came back, and and uh, we're doing the we're doing the hard things. Just again, appreciate you being behind the families, even being behind these soldiers, because we've got a lot of great Americans here, and I'm just proud and honored and humbled to be a part of this organization that we call the Arizona National Guard. And, and I know on behalf of the Adjutant General, he'd also like to thank you for all the contributions that you give us here. So thank you again. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, if you folks in the front row can come up and join us, we've got a special presentation we wanted to make today. This uh, this check or this um, ticket is actually representative of 300 tickets that we are uh, providing and donating today. Hey, that's my seat. <laughs> Somebody got my seat. <laughs> yeah. Row 48, seat one. Well, we're not seat one, we're seat nine. All right, that concludes our formal program today. I know we have uh, several members of the media here. If you're interested in one-on-ones, uh, see Paul here, and he'll get you taken care of. Thank you, everybody, for joining.